So you've done it? Yeah, yeah, it's been, what, three months? Three, four, something like that. Yeah, and I've done it, but this is a thing now. Well, congratulations. Congratulations for what I've literally just been wearing clothes. It's a step, it's a big step, it's how you present yourself to the world. Well, it certainly took some guts, definitely at the beginning there, but it's not as if, you know... No, really, kudos to you, that kind of self-expression, um, the barrier to that, for a lot of people, I mean, even if they wanted to, it's, it's too high, isn't it? Hey, sure, I'll take Seamus as a list of, on the list of one of my virtues, yeah, that's pretty accurate. I mean, you can put it that way if you want to. Sure, fine, I barely even see it as self-expression, though, it's not like I'm, you know, doing anything or saying anything, or as if, you know, the people on the street know anything about me, or, you know, to them I'm just some other weirdo. Self-confident weirdo. <laughs> Comfortable in their own skin? Yeah, again, I'll gladly take that. It's just. How's Samantha? <laughs> ah, Samantha's dead. Long dead. Is that what the haircut means? That? Uh, no, I was just getting tired of having to think about it. Fair enough. I mean, it's, it's kind of the same with clothes, right? With men's clothes, you know, there's. Uh, there's almost always something that fits pretty well, you know, decently comfortable, you don't have to worry about there being pockets or how much you're allowed to squish into them or you don't have to, you know, usually you don't have to think about whether they're right for the occasion or, I don't know, covering the right amount of skin when you sit down or at least, um, I mean, I never worried about that. This, I comb it in the morning and it's basically fine, I can think about other stuff. Um, do you think about other stuff? No, think about buying more feminine clothes, don't I? You know, there's plenty of women that just mostly just wear stuff that's comfortable and practical. Obviously, yeah, but I'm not trying to be a woman. It's more, you see, when I cross-dress, right, I don't feel any different from how I did when, you know, before I started questioning all this gender thing. Uh, there's no, like, other me that exists in that sort of... So that's not a problem. That's not the issue. Now, no, what the thing is, the obsession, the ideation, am I using that word right? The kind of reification... I've sort of put this thing, this idea of myself looking good in women's clothes in some abstract sense, in some kind of platonistic whatever it is. And so when reality doesn't match up with it... Yeah, right, exactly. It just means that some big old clothes company ends up with a big new pile of cash. Because <laughs> I'm apparently still too embarrassed about it to do it in charity shops. Plus there's like five million new coat hangers I have to deal with. Good job, well done. 10 out of 10 use of student loan money. And obviously none of this is making you happy. Literally the opposite of fulfilling. So what now then? Well, trial period's over, that's for sure. Man, we're just so completely, utterly broken. I'm uh, gonna have to deal with this stuff now. You know, decide what was worthwhile, decide what's to be chucked, you know, all that. Eventually. Eventually. So, who killed Samantha? She was never alive. She was a dream of a dream of a dream, etc. A dead end. Hey!